Is contextual targeting a new concept? Absolutely not. But this simple strategy for placing ads within relevant content has been out just forever. And it was just overshadowed by behavioral targeting. But as third-party cookies are phased out, contextual targeting is back in the spotlight. Check out this video to see if you should start using it too. I'm Lina from Epom, and I'm here to explain how contextual targeting works in programmatic advertising and its benefits for publishers and advertisers. So let's get started. Contextual targeting is based on one simple idea. You can target ads based on the user's current mood and mindset, but not their lifestyle. Contextual targeting focuses on what's viewed, not who's watching. And think about an ad featuring a pair of boots. Anyone reading an article about the seasoned celebrity approved boots will likely find the ad relevant, regardless of their browsing history, just because they're looking for this information right now. This makes contextual targeting different from behavioral targeting. It is 100% about the environment of the page the ad is on, not the viewer. Behavioral targeting ignores the content of the page. Instead, it relies on viewer's browsing profile. And it was once a strength of behavioral targeting, but soon it can turn into a weakness. If we compare contextual and behavioral targeting, we'll see that contextual doesn't require you to collect and store any data on the user's previous online activities, while behavioral is impossible without it. Contextual doesn't use third-party cookies and will easily survive their phase-out, while behavioral will be very much affected by it. Contextual targeting does not violate user privacy, while behavioral in many cases can be considered very intrusive. As you can see, contextual targeting is perfect for future-proof, privacy-first advertising. And this brings it back on the agenda for media bias today. This is important, but not the only reason to use contextual targeting. Let's look at some ways contextual targeting can be beneficial for publishers and advertisers. From the publisher perspective, putting the right ad next to the right content increases the value of every impression. It gives them a valid reason to sell their inventory at a better price. It helps them make ads more useful and reduce visitors' ad fatigue. It lets them use content-related first-party data they already have. And now let's see how advertisers can win by having their ads placed in the most suitable context. They can better control ad placement for narrow niche products. People see their ads while watching or reading about related things and they get better ROI as they bid on the most relevant impressions. To take advantage of contextual advertising, a publisher and an advertiser, they should connect via the DSP and SSP platform that can exchange contextual data. The platforms can be their own or self-serve account on DSP and SSP platform owned by an agency or network. Now I'll explain how contextual targeting works using a very brief example. We'll consider category targeting as one of the simplest options. And the only thing it requires from publisher is to categorize or tag their website content. Let's say you have an ad agency and run a customer's programmatic ads on Epon white label DSP. So you connect the DSP to your SSP platform for publishers, your SSP can include page categories in the bid request it sends to your DSP. Let's imagine you want the DSP to bid only on impressions shown on sports media that create content for American football fans. You go to targeting options and open the extension filter. Under the extensions filter, you add the parameter category and click include. Now the DSP will check the code of every bid request to see if it contains the category parameter under the site object. After that, you'll add values for the parameter to equal. In our case, it should be football or NFL. Now the DSP will filter traffic and bid only when a bid request contains the category parameter that equals football or NFL. With such targeting, you can be sure that your ads will be shown to people viewing pages devoted to football. This example is simple and illustrates how contextual targeting works, but 
it doesn't reflect its power. So here is a link to our free trial in case you are interested in learning more about extensions filter in EPUM DSP. And for now, I would like to emphasize one single point. In their bid requests, publishers can include various parameters describing the ad placements uh, on their websites. So this can be page type, metadata, keywords, or a special taxonomy a publisher develops to classify their content. So the list will keep growing as technology advances. I'll close with that, but if you have a question, leave a comment under this video and I'll be glad to answer. And we have more tutorials like this, so subscribe, like and share our videos and happy advertising!